Hi guys, welcome back to Back on Trailing to Radio. Uh, new GMRS radio came in the mail today from Radiotity. And um, that's not amateur radio, but GMRS is, is really handy because it's so useful and you can use it with so many different people and groups, uh, including FRS radio users to a degree. But these GMRS radios definitely outperform FRS radios. So let's open this up and take a look. User manual. I'm actually generally impressed with the user manuals with these guys. They do a good job. And honestly, I'm generally more impressed with the Radiotity product than the straight Balfang product. So this is looks really nice. I mean, I definitely like the look and the feel so far. Um, check that out. It's got a little fixing bolt right there. You can just you see that anyway it's a um, kind of looks like a somewhat fixed antenna so uh cool thing is you can get extended battery packs for these um let's just uh fire this thing up let's see what we get i like that nice secure really secure package there Belgium. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Somebody's actually using an FRS radio. So, oh, that's, that's actually really great. All the channels here. I'm not going to scan through all of them right now. But uh, let's go up to 13 here. Let's go into the menu setting. Well, you can't even see that super well here with the uh, light. So squelch. And this has got our typical, looks like Baofeng style menus, but I like this a whole lot more. Um, you can actually kind of, can kind of read it. Um, and CTCSS. Um, very nice. Like, I just, I like the feel of this. I'm curious to find out about the antenna here, uh, if that can be changed out. But then again, it, it probably doesn't need to be. I think having a USB charging port on a battery, on a handheld, just kind of makes all the sense in the world. Especially if your walkie-talkie or your handheld radio system is working its way into your emergency communication plan, or if you are in a backcountry situation where you've got extended time out there and you just want to communicate between your party, you just plug it in and charge it with uh, USB, which I've highlighted in some of my other, uh, one of my other videos anyway, about creating a, a power plan for your HTs. Um, I think I think that's really cool. I unfortunately don't see a whole lot of use for these uh, Libby little mini headsets. Um, uh, I do find a lot more use in the style of remote mic ah, there we go nice secure connection let's turn this back on all right so i've got this little guy programmed on gmrs 13 uh, with the dcs code 31 um, so i want to communicate with that so i want to just do a quick test to see how quickly i can get this going so if it's anything like the other ones, I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn that off. Voice is off. DCS, transmit 31. And DCS, receive 31. Let's see if this works. Do you copy? Copy over. All right, let's try it the other way. This is WRFS364. All right, this is gonna be fun to play with. That was really easy to program. Um, I am gonna have a lot of fun with this. All right, so I'd like to thank Radiotity for sending me this GMRS radio, GM30, 
and we're gonna get going into testing on this thing and I'm gonna produce a couple more videos programming and showing just how I use it in the backcountry and how versatile it can be. So don't forget as well, I'll be doing a giveaway of the GS5B unit, which is a ham radio. You gotta have a ham radio license to use it, but it's super cool. And as soon as we hit 100, 650 subscribers, I'll be detailing the giveaway. So look forward to seeing you down the trail.